To simulate dynamic, deformable objects, projective dynamics was recently introduced as a faster alternative to Newton's method. How can we add damping to projective dynamics? We have two choices, explicit damping and implicit damping. Explicit damping sometimes trips over, while implicit damping significantly slows the simulation down. We would like to get results similar to implicit damping, but without high computing overheads. Ideally, we would want to utilize the prefactorization of the Laplacian type matrix used in projective dynamics. There are two important features of this Laplacian matrix. First, it is constant, which means that its Kolesky factorization can be pre-computed. Second, the inverse Laplacian matrix works as a low-pass filter, that is, removing high frequencies. Our method is faster than implicit damping and produces higher visual quality than explicit damping methods. We can also use different time integration schemes with our damping method, all within the projective dynamics frameworks. Different time integration schemes allow us to more easily achieve different visual results. In this example, we added the smallest amount of damping to prevent the penguin from exploding. With either drag, the damping slows down the global motion. Without damping, the simulation explodes. Our method produces a nice animation. The PPD damping conserves angular momentum, but not always in a physically realistic way. In this example, the tail of the ribbon starts rotating immediately, similarly to a rigid body. Our method makes the ribbon look more like fabric. Our method looks similar to lagged Rayleigh damping while being much faster. Our method also looks similar to variational damping while being much faster. Some integrators, such as Backward Euler, contain artificial numerical damping, which is not user controllable and may be too strong. With our method, we have full control over the damping. Implicit midpoint does not contain artificial numerical damping, but as another problem, it can be unstable. Our damping method can be used to stabilize implicit midpoint, all within the projective dynamics framework. In this hair simulation, the artificial numerical damping of backward Euler is not sufficiently strong. We can use our method to produce nicer hair motion. Finally, we show that our method converges as we reduce the time step. While a time step of 33 milliseconds is too large, we can see that the result with a time step of 1.65 milliseconds looks almost the same as 10 times smaller time step, 0.165 milliseconds.